some young broke dude. It would be really nice if this place was more flexible with their kids eat free thing. We were there yesterday and they refused to make an exception, even though it was the only day when we were out with the kids. Guess who lost out on customers? Okay, who has Metallica tickets for sale? And keep in mind, if I wanted to pay full price, I could just go to Ticketmaster or the box office. How come every time I buy a car off Facebook, it always has electrical problems? Every single damn time! Quit selling me junk and lying about it! I am tempted to report these crooks to the Better Business Bureau Facebook division. I need a car, and I refuse to pay more than $700 for one. I will never, ever, ever buy a new car. Ever! Anything newer than 1996 is a scam, scammy, scam, scam! Hey, babe. I have an amazing opportunity for you. I need a photographer. I want to shoot once a week. It'll be very heavily marketed. I won't pay you, but you will get a lot of exposure and you will be associated with A-listers. I'm working with a clinic in Knightsbridge and we want to start a YouTube channel as well as a skin blog. It will feature me and a lot of celebs. I will credit you everywhere. We have a large marketing budget and will pay for marketing. I'm just looking for a team. After 12 weeks, I will be able to start getting you paid and I can assure you, you will increase your following and exposure a lot by working with me. Of course, I will test out the relationship and make sure we both like the images, but if you are as good as your Instagram suggests, I would love to work with you. More free stuff. Hey guys, me again. This time looking for something more specific. I need to fully furnish my room with dressers, armoires, vanities, etc. As right now I have no organization except for several different piles of clothes or other items. I would need all of it for free and delivered for free as I no longer have any money. Would also need to be a two man crew since I have stairs to my apartment and have a bad wrist. Thanks in advance! Please everyone, as someone who has recently needed, asked, and received help, please do not start leaving negative comments. If you don't like this post, just move on. Hi, I know you probably aren't going to believe me, but I'm 12 and my birthday's next week. I really want a BOGO hoodie, but I can't really afford one right now. My parents got divorced recently and my dad asked to pay my mom alimony. $3,000 each month. I really want a BOGO, so I wanted to ask if you could please give me a steel man. I have 130 right now. Please don't ignore this either. Thanks. I signed up for the free Christmas gifts this year and I'm heartbroken because my 10 year old autistic son asked for a Barbie dream house and princess Barbies. It's sad that my hometown couldn't see beyond gender norms to get what this little domestic violence survivor, the one thing he wanted so bad. Now, as a single mother of two disabled boys, I'm scrambling to try to fulfill his one Santa wish. People take their own money to help children get gifts. Be more grateful. Sheesh. I want PlayStation. Reply. Hey! So, do you want a near mint condition PS4 for 200 pounds? Yes. How much? Oh, 200? It's for my brother. He has cancer. Lowest I can go is 150. Please. All I have is 80. My friends can give me one for 50. Reply. Oh. Professional, inexpensive, interior home painter. Hello everyone. We placed an offer on a home and if they accepted, we would need a painter because we want the interior house to be painted white flat paint and the trim semi-gloss white. Our preference is to for the painter to complete the services with a professional sprayer and of course the trim completed by brush. The square footage is 1,440 square feet. If the offer gets accepted, of course the closing cost and down payment will need to be paid. So whoever is recommended must be affordable, have references, and consistent client history. For your information, I am frugal and meticulous. Thanks. In search of two queen-size mattresses and box springs. Preferably one that don't have rips or stains. 
for free. Private message me with pictures, please and thanks in advance. Hello. Who is this? Josh, Sean gave me your number. Oh hey, how are you? Good, good. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could send me your bio exam notes you made from last term. I have bio this term. Oh, I hope you get the good professor. Honestly, I'm really, really sorry, but I don't think I'll be giving those notes to anyone. It took me two weeks to write them all, and it's over 60 pages long. It just took a lot of effort, and I don't think I'll give it out. I was actually thinking of selling the printed out version with my bio lab notebook. Uh, can you please make an exception? I really need to fix my grades, and you make great notes that got you 90s. Like, I really need that. I saw other people selling notes too, but I don't want to buy them. I mean, it's not like you're going to use them anymore. You don't need bio anymore. Honestly, I'm really sorry. I just can't see myself giving it for free. It took so much effort and time, and I really don't mean to be rude, but me and you are not that close for me to give it to you just cause. I think you'll be fine, just make sure you don't skip out in any lectures, and then at the end of the term, summarize all your lecture notes, and you'll do great on the test. Trust me. Come on, you know me. I can't get up that early for class. You already know I'm gonna miss so many lectures. I just need things as a reference. If you're really not going to put effort into the course, that makes me not want to give my notes even more. It's not fair for me, who put crazy amount of effort into bio, to just give my notes to people and they won't put effort in and get a better or the same average as me. You know this program is competitive. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Who cares? You know I won't beat you in anything. Why can't you just help me out a bit? You understand everything, but are not willing to help anyone else out. Like, really? How about I send you the notes for the first two modules so you get the idea of how I write my notes and you can write the rest yourself? Oh, I want the whole thing. One module won't get me 90 in the course. I need to fix my marks. Please send me the whole thing. Then, like, I won't send it to anyone else, I promise. Look, I really can't help you. If you don't want to try, then maybe you don't deserve a 90. If you won't buy it, put effort, or even try, there's no point, seriously. You need to get yourself together to succeed. I'm not someone magical that will send 90s your way. Wow, you're so stingy. I bet you'd give Sarah your notes, and she never puts any effort in. Talking about fair, you don't know what fair is. I put so much effort in and still get bad marks. Sarah is my closest friend from middle school. Obviously, I'm going to help out a friend because I know she tries. I don't even know you. This is the first time we talk and you're asking for help and being inconsiderate. What effort? The effort you put into sleeping and missing lectures? Honestly, just go find someone else to get notes from. Lose my number. Gladly. Does anyone have an RV or travel trailer in good working condition that you'd like to donate to a 501c3 for the tax receipt? Being that this one will house people, it would have to be in good condition. Private message me if interested. My self summary. American girl planning a trip. Number one, if you're not looking for a girlfriend, get off my page. Number two, if you want to date me, ask me on a proper date. Don't ask me to come over to your house. The answer is no. Number three, before that date, we're going to have a conversation on the phone, not texting so we can see if we vibe. Number four, random casual sex, not me. Number five, God is my life, but so is party. Love dancing. Number six, Scorpio. Number seven, no drugs, no weed, little alcohol. Number eight, I'm five foot nine, so six plus tall guys only. Number nine, no country or ghetto guys. Number ten, I like to be spoiled, emotionally and financially. You should message me if... I like gentlemen and sapiosexuals. I'm not submissive, I'm dominant. If you're not looking for a hookup, you're actually looking for relationship or serious dating, and you know how to treat and spoil a girl. If you offer to pay for someone's meal, it's okay for them to order the most expensive thing on their menu. If that person was paying for themselves, they would probably order what they want to eat. Why even offer if you're going to restrict the amount of items you can choose from? It takes a nice gesture and makes it seem fake and insincere. Hey, just wondering if anyone wants to give me any free stuff of value. I'm a gentleman seeking a down-to-earth lady. I'm divorced six years with two children, son 15, daughter 12. 
I'm very romantic. Flowers, cards, play piano, sing, massage. I'll cook for you. You must cook too. No high maintenance or princesses. No full figured. Seeking relationship. It's my birthday month. I am now accepting dinners, lunches, drinks, and gifts all month long. I will also be accepting Cash App or Venmo. Hashtag birthday girl. Hashtag birthday month. Hashtag birthday gift. If you ask yourself why the self-employed charge so much for their services, they don't get paid vacation. They don't get paid sick days. They don't get bonuses for outstanding performances, nor for Christmas. They don't have insurance plans, nor do they qualify for unemployment. Also, the skill set they have is expensive and needs to be compensated for along with their invested time to prepare for you or your affair and the time they have to spend on your affair. So next time you ask, remember that the self-employed love being their own boss, but that love doesn't pay debts. Happy Entrepreneur Day. Repost if you're your own boss or have good friends that are. Respect the self-employed. Thanks for the payment. I'll ship it out by the end of the week. Awesome, thanks. Hey, I have a question. Yes? Can I get a refund if I send you some valuable items? No, what items? Well, my cat has kittens, so you can have one. Housewife application. In search of serious female housewife candidate to submit application for marriage, but must fit the following criteria. Must have been born a blonde female. Seems like you have to be extremely specific these days. Must be over 50. Must be able to cook. Must clean home daily. And must be wannabe monogamous. Hey, can you send money to my PayPal? It's a little urgent, but I promise to pay you back double the amount in a few days. My PayPal is... Um, why? You're probably not going to give it, but it's really urgent for university. What, like two quid? <laughs> yes. How the fuck can you be desperate for two quid? Please just send it. How much you want? I have 16,000 in my account. Ooh, I don't want more than 10 pounds. I don't want to waste the money you should be spending on your curlies. I'll be waiting for your reply, rich boy. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. You ain't getting shit. Ouch. Bean. Well, I mean, I already know you don't have 16,000. You're a poor fuck. I have 540,000 fans. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Look at my account if you don't believe me. I don't need your money, hobo. Hey, will you buy me a game on Discord? Why? Because you love me sexually, and this will get me to notice you. When have I ever mentioned I was sexually interested in you? I don't know, like last week or something. At tennis practice. You do realize I don't play tennis, or have never met any relations I've made on this app in real life, right? Yeah, but can I just have free stuff? No, because I just don't know you well enough. If you were my close friend, then I'd be more happy to. Well, I can be your close friend. I'll give you a high five. I'd like to say yes, but it's a no from me, sorry. Wow, this hurts. What did I do wrong? Expecting me to buy you something when we barely know each other and not mention about giving anything in return, which is selfish and not what I want in a person if they were to be my friend. Sorry. Can I have that mouse? Do you go to Baylor? No. Okay, well you'll have to pay for it. Never mind, I was joking. You just didn't want to pay for it, did you? Yes and no. Hi, I'm Lisa Brewer. Hi, is it still available? Yes, it's still available. Anyway, you could deliver tonight because it's my son's birthday tomorrow and he's been wanting an Xbox forever. No, I'm sorry, as I said in the description, you'll have to pick it up. Okay then, f it, have fun sucking fat, juicy cock!